A spokeswoman for the Trump campaign, Hope Hicks, told the Washington Post that a database error led to Johnson's inclusion as a potential delegate after he had already been rejected by the campaign. Joining me now is William Johnson. Mr. Johnson, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. So I'm not here to debate your ideology, with which, for the record, I could not disagree more strongly. I am interested, however, in what happened in the last day. My understanding is that that once some reporters noticed that you were a delegate and asked the Trump campaign about you, the Trump campaign tried to get you removed as a delegate, but it was it was too late. Is, is that correct? Well, I think that um, I was approved as a delegate. I submitted my application and I was approved. And then immediately when the list came out, they saw that they had a clerical error. And so then they sent me an email saying that uh, you are removed from list so I wrote back an email telling them I understand I resign and then later in the day I got contacted by a media person who says well you're still on the list um, and so then I sent them a second email saying that I resign I will not attend the, the convention I will not be a delegate so the Trump campaign found it objectionable that you were on the list before reporters did is that correct no, I think what happens is that, that I slip through the cracks and they approved me. And then once the list came out, the media had intense interest in my, um, my listing. And so that caused them to review the situation. And that's how it transpired. So you believe the campaign when they say that a, a database error led to you being chosen as a delegate? Yes, I believe that um, I submitted the application and they did not intentionally have me on um, as a delegate. And so then when they found out about it, they corrected it and I concurred. Do you think that Ms. Lagomarsino, Trump's California delegate coordinator, knew your views and your history when she first reached out to you and, and congratulated you on being a delegate? I believe that she did not know my views at all. You told Mother Jones, which broke the story, the following, quote, for many, many years, when I would say these things, other white people would call me names. Oh, you're a hate monger. You're a Nazi. You're like Hitler. Now they say, now they come in and say, oh, you're like Donald Trump. What do you mean by that? Well, th right now in today's society, they're passing around the word racist more and more. And everybody is being called a racist nowadays. And so that, that term and all of these invectives are having less meaning. It, it, what I mean by that is that we are now able to more openly discuss issues regarding race because everybody is being called such invectives nowadays that it doesn't mean much anymore. Do you believe that? The white race or the European white race is the superior race? Is that your view? I believe that Western civilization is declining and dying out in every country around the world that has traditionally been white. Europe is being replaced by immigrants from Africa. Uh, America uh, is the same things happening here, happening here. And so I believe that we need to um, be aware of this precipitous decline in the white race. And I think it's good for people to be proud of your heritage, whatever heritage that might be, but particularly for white people because the whites now are so afraid to be proud of their heritage because they're called bad names if they are. What is it about Mr. Trump that you like? Mr. Trump is the real deal. He does not govern. He will not govern by public opinion poll. He says what's on his mind. This is kind of like what um, Ron Paul did. This is what um, Bernie Sanders is doing. And that's a refreshing change from the politicians that we've had for many decades. That is probably the, the best thing about him and what endears him to most people in general. Do you think that he shares your views in terms of the decline of the United States because of other races coming to the United States? Well, now, I've not said that America has declined for that reason. You suggested I'm saying it. that we are being we are being dispossessed, but um, I I have not attributed it to the other other races, and you're you're, you're saying things that I have not said, but th but I do believe that when you replace one people with another, that is not a good thing, whether it takes place in Mongolia or in Sweden. Um, I think that Donald Trump has to be a president for all peoples. That's what all the presidents must must do. 
it is up to me as an advocate for the, the white, white group to push our agenda um, more than any other agenda. That's my responsibility. His responsibility is to lead the entire country. Mr. Johnson, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome.